Hey, today we're going to be looking at still moving. There are two sections. I'm going to play through them first and then we'll look at them in more detail. Here we go. So let's break that down. Um, the first part, the music is just moving from the four to the five to the six, then seven, one, two, one to the six, then to the five, back to the four. So again, it starts on the four, which is A major, to the five. But to ensure that they're complementing the vocals, um, you may want to play the five chord in second inversion, like that. And you can roll up to E flat from B. For the sixth chord, I usually play C sharp, G sharp, and B in my left, and then in my right, I would play E major. All right, so it sounds like this. All right, then for the seventh, it's a B major ninth. It's the one and to the second. For the second, it's the same principle as with the um, my sixth chord. In this case, I'm playing F sharp, C sharp, and E in my right hand. In my right hand, I'm using A, C sharp, and E with A in the top as well. All right, and I walk down to the first, then to the sixth, five to the four all right um one thing that the keyboardist did to um you know add some amount of taste to it is he used a lot of um different movements like for example um the first one was all right all that is is C sharp minor, which is the sixth, 
all right in different inversions and then to the six. Oh, that scale was simply a E major scale and then once you drop to E um, the scale resolves on G sharp which is the third note in the E major chord all right to the five and then um, for the second section it says so you want to play A major then you're going to keep the left hand the same on A and E but with the right hand you want to play the fifth over the fourth so B and then in a different inversion go back to the four all right and then in a different inversion go back to the fifth so it sounds like that so we, we started here do this, the same thing Four. that's on the sixth seven then back to the that um, the keyboard player did at one point he did this is the same thing as C sharp but we're going to play the interval of a six in with the right hand leave, leaving out the middle voicing all right so this is C sharp minor C sharp minor different inversions and then to the four all right same principle you're leaving out the middle um, voicing and then to the fifth so that in in reality that sounded like six you would do it to go back to the four all right all right um i think that's it if if you want to play that song in a in a different key um you just have to remember the numbering so for example this is in um this is in e major so if the song was if you had to take it to F, all right, um, you want to start on the four to the six, then seven, one, two, to the one, to the six, to the five, to the four. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Um, you already know if you haven't subscribed as yet definitely go ahead and subscribe for more content have a wonderful one peace out